Hey folks, Peter from FS Bushcraft. Back again for finally a new book review for the Bushcraft Book Club that I have on my channel as a playlist, as well as once again give a special shout out to LT Survival. He's been uh, going along with me for quite a while, and uh, he's been putting out some some of the books that he's reviewed. Um, and I've also turned on and added those reviews that he's done as well into the playlist on my channel so that we basically have one spot uh, a person can go to uh, for the, we call it the Bush, Bushcraft Book Club. And uh, basically all it is, um, you know, you come across a really cool book or, or you know, a book that you might write about bushcraft survival, uh, prepping, whatever, uh, anything, you know, dealing with the outdoors or, or like I say, prepping and survival and stuff like that, we've turned on and added. Now, it's been a while since I've done one, and honestly, the reason why is I've read quite a few books since my last review. But honestly, as uh, Bushcraft and Survival books, they were basically the same as all the other ones that were up there, and there really was nothing new or, or anything interesting. But uh, LT Survival, turn it around on Louie, just uh, put a video out there not that long ago on Les Stroud's new book. And I have to say, yes, Les Stroud is one of my idols. Uh, he's one of the guys I like a lot and the reason being is that I feel a lot of the time Les Stroud feels the same way as I do uh, when it comes to bushcraft and survival um, and uh, you know says it the way it is and, and things like that now Louis turned around and had there's the two versions that Les Stroud has just come out with and it's called uh, the book's called The Host of the Survival Man Les Stroud Survival and it's uh, basically his, uh, his sweat you die series. Now, on the one that uh, Louie has, and once again, I'll, I'll have a link in this description as well, going to his review that he did on it. There's two different versions. There's a paperback version, and then there's this one here. Um, and this is kind of like the collector's edition, I guess you could turn it on and say. And of course, because it was last out, I had to get the collector's edition. Uh, it's kind of got like a, um, it's supposed to have like an imitation kind of leather cover that's on the outside and then the pages inside are more um, you know they, they can take the water and stuff they're, they're not like they're, um, I'm trying to think of that coating I can't even think of it they're more like a uh, like a polymer or whatever that's on the paper as you can see like a quick it's not like regular paper paper but so to get into the book um, this one here with uh, like I say being the collector's edition you also turn out to get it comes with a DVD um, in the DVD is kind of neat. All it is is, uh, you know, if you're a Les Stroud fan or whatever, it's his very first uh, uh, um, video that he did for the Survivor Man series when he first started it back in 2000. And it's him in Northern Ontario, which is where uh, Les Stroud is from. And uh, when he went out and he did it, uh, the one during the summertime. And uh, and then he's got a winter one on there. And the winter one is his, free, his very first episode that he ever did in the middle of the winter time. That also was in Northern Ontario that he had done. And then there's some uh, bonus clips on the uh, on the DVD. And it's basically just Les Stroud around talking about a lot of the stuff that we all talk about on YouTube of like, for our area in the Boreal Bush, where, uh, you know, cedar bark, for instance. You know, you can turn around and take a knife and, and scrape the cedar and, uh, you know, it makes good tin uh, kindling and things like that. Just a couple of little blurbs on it. The one thing with the book, it's not your typical bushcraft and survival book in the aspect of being, um, you know, that it's going to have all these pictures and, you know, that it's going to show you how to build a fire and all that kind of stuff. What it's done is he's turned on a renting it basically from life experiences. And that's um, life experiences that he's experienced over the years since uh, when he started, when he was 25 years old, actually, when Les Stroud started into getting into, uh, took his first survival course and uh, got an interest into the bush. Uh, before that, if anybody knows Les Stroud, Les Stroud was a musician. Uh, he still is. Uh, you know, has his own band and everything else on the side. But uh, that's what he did up until he was 25. And then he turned around and did his first uh, out in the wilderness and did a little uh, a survival course and just fell in love with the bush. And it's taken him on from there. And he's to where he is today. But the book is written, like I say, from life uh, I would say like life skills of things that he's gone out and he's done. Be it that, uh, you know, um, give an example. Um, let's find one here. He's got, they're in orange in the book, and it's called uh, Star's Tip. And basically, you know, if he's talking this one here, for instance, um, 
it's in the, the chapter that deals with food. And on this one he talks about the more food you eat, the more water your body needs for digestion. So if you are short on water, then eat less food or you'll speed up the dehydration process. On the other hand, if you're near a large source of fresh drinking water, force yourself to drink every half hour. This not only keeps your system flushed, and clean but also makes your stomach feel like something's in there. Uh, this is just a, a, a trick I use all the time while I'm filming survival ordeals. Um, so like I say when you go through it uh, he'll talk about different things like like fire making and shelter making and, and all the different environments and, and he covers them all, all the ones he's been to all, in, all over the world. And it just be, I would say, you know, if you've got um, you know, if you're the kind of person, as most of us are, you know, you're in the bush, you've basically, you know, you've been doing it yourself for years and everything else. It's just a, a really good book to read that kind of, it, it just opens your mind again and, and gets you thinking about things that you may do when you're out there. Um, you know, not in a, in a survival situation, but, you know, just around camp or whatever. And, uh, you know, making up stuff. And he talks about different, uh, you know, like, uh, as most of us know, uh, using roots and stuff like that for you know, extra string or something like that, if you ran under string, and how you can do that, and, and stuff like that, but, uh, like I say, it, it, you just, um, I'm just trying to, see. oh, and then here, yeah, like here, like, he's, the little pictures like that, where it shows, like, making a signal fire, uh, he kind of shows a couple of little pictures, and, uh, but it's more just talking about it, it's not actually showing you step by step, as most of them do, on how to, uh, how to do like bushcraft or survival or whatever. So I guess I'll leave it at that. Like I say, awesome book once again. I'll make sure I turn it on and put the link in the description. Like I said, also to uh, Louis' video that he has on the other version of the book that he had done, as well as as always with the Bushcraft Book Club. I'll also put a link um, to the Amazon for Canadian and for the American for the dot com, or I should say for the rest of the world the dot com. Um, with the ISBN number of the book, of both books, as well as, um, for those of us here in Canada, um, I always get all my books from Chapters in Indigo, because where I have the Plum Rewards, and uh, I'll also turn on and put a link uh, in the description below for that as well. So once again, that was Host of the Survivor Man, Les Stroud Survival. This one is the Ultimate Edition for the series You Sweat, You Die. Um, fantastic book. Uh, I personally, myself, um, I would have to say it's the best book I have in my library. Not just because of the fact it's Les Stroud, it's the way that the book is written. Um, and it's almost impossible to try to portray that in a video other than, you know, if you pick it up and read it yourself. But trust me, I don't think you'll be, I, I don't think you'll be unimpressed uh, if you buy the book and read through it. Uh, like I say, it's not your typical, you know, bushcraft survival, how to do this, how to do that, when... You know, those of us that are out here all the time, you know, we pretty much know how to make a fire and, you know, how to, how to make a shelter and all that kind of stuff. But it's just little things that you might not think of that he throws in there. So, anyway, once again, Peter from FS Bushcraft. Everyone take care. See you in the next one. God bless.